Are you ready for this interesting story? All right, let's get started. So this is about a time with two friends. Uh, I'm gonna give them random names right now. One of them is Carly and the other one is Brad. All right, let's get this started. So we went to downtown Boston one day to just chillax at a park, you know, just, I don't know, like a little like tipsy, whatever, you know. Uh, and it was nice and chill, right? Uh, and it was like quite late. We were like, we made it there around, I don't know, like 11 PM. And then we left at around like, I don't know, like 1 30 AM. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, but me and Brad were feeling quite hungry. Uh, so we wanted some sort of fast food, but for some weird reason, a lot of the fast food places in Boston, uh, are not 24 hours or open that late. Um, but one of them that happened to be 24 hours, like through drive through, uh, we decided to go to, uh, that was there in downtown Boston. So we arrived there and then we started to get in the drive through and it was like quite, it was like kind of a long line. Uh, but on top of it, one strange thing too, was there were like a ton of homeless people around there. Like I've never ever seen like that many homeless people like wandering around like a parking lot like that. So all those homeless people were starting to like gather around Brad's car and like one of them was like trying to knock on it and like trying to like have us roll down the window to ask us something. So we did stupidly like uh, roll down the window and he asked for like, he asked for a change for like, he. so he seemed like quite functioning. Like he didn't seem as if he was on drugs. That's what my friend Brad said. But I could tell he was like coked out or something like that because he had like a very normal amount, like higher energy at the time uh, when it happened to be like really, really late at night. You know what I mean? Uh, but so he was asking like, oh, could I have like change for these two dollars worth of quarters? Uh, like he wanted $2 bills or something like that. I, I forget how it went. It was like some really weird, obscure uh, change that he wanted. And so my friend Brad actually gave him the change and everything actually ended up being completely fine. So that's also another indicator he was on drugs or something. Uh, but anyways, then we rolled out the window. That was that. Uh, but like, yeah, a lot, especially after that, a lot more homeless people, uh, started surrounding the car. Uh, and it was jet just getting weird at that point. It was like the walking dead, like the zombies just like, uh, gathering around. They were like uh, pacing back and forth, like around the car. It was getting weird. So we decided to like leave, especially how long the line was taking. So that was like quite freaky and we decided to head back to my hometown, which is right next to theirs. Uh, it's like 15, 20 minutes outside of Boston. So we were gonna go to the Burger King, that's a street away. Oh wait, no, no, we, we decided like to go to a McDonald's drive-thru that's like uh, about to arrive to my town. It's on the highway. So we make it there, we're in the drive-thru and we, realize at that point that it's like cash only at that time or something like that which we didn't have so we could not pay so we had to leave and find another alternative the only other alternative there was was uh, uh one burger king that's like a street away from my house that literally closed from then uh it, it was only open for like another like 30 minutes uh, so yeah, we made it to that Burger King, uh, that's right by my house, uh, the drive through uh, and there was only like 30 minutes left. And so we just arrived when an 18 wheeler truck was right in front of us that stopped and parked right in front of the drive through which was quite annoying. So we were like, this is ridiculous, blah, blah, blah. 
Uh, and we were hoping it was going to move, like, real soon because, like, at the same time, there's literally, like, 30 minutes left until they close. Like, that's still a decent amount of time. I'm sure it, they he that he wouldn't be parked there that whole time. And then it turned out he was parked there that whole time when it was literally, like, a few minutes before. No, no. It was, like, a minute before they closed. No, no, no. It was a it was a few minutes. It was like a minute after they closed, the truck decided to move. But the reason that why the truck was there was because it was some like construction guy or something. He was like fixing something like uh, on the building. Uh, but there was no reason he had to park there. So that was real annoying. We came empty handed, no fast food, no food, no anything. So we were obviously real upset about that. Uh, and that was that. It was quite the obstacles, quite annoying. And that span of trying to find a fast food place literally last, lasted like, I don't know, an hour and a half, two hours. It was like, it was ridiculous. But that's that. That was that story. Thanks for listening and check out my other stories. Thank you.